So let's look at the electron geometry for this one. We have a total of five bonding regions, and you may or may not be able to see it. Here's our triangle right here, and then we have the up and the down. And this triangle is going to make a pyramid up and a pyramid down. So we've got our triangle base, so that's going to go into the name. Trigonal, remember use that trigonal instead of triangle, trigonal. And since there are two pyramids, by pyramidal. Bond angles on that, since we've got a triangle, anytime you've got that triangle shape, it's 120. And then from here to here, that's a right angle, so that's 90. And you can also go from here all the way to there, so that's 180. Let's go to the next one. All right, so in this shape, we're still in that same family because remember, we don't talk about the lone pairs until we get to molecular geometry. So it's kind of weird. This is going to be like the triangle, and that's like the up and the down. It just looks a little weird because of the angle. So this is still trigonal by pyramidal. Uh, <laughs> and the matching angles are the 120, 90, and 180. Alright, I still have five regions. This one's drawn a little bit easier to see the triangle again. And then the up down. Trigonal by pyramidal. 90, 120, 180. And then we keep going and we still have those five regions. Trigonal by pyramidal angles, 90, 120, and 180. All right, now we're in our next shape here, and this one is where you've got a square, and you've got the up and down, and this is the one where people want to say square by pyramidal, and I know that seems like that would make sense, but instead we are counting the faces of that square, and so on the top, we have one, two on the back, and then four. We have four faces on top, and then we have the four faces on bottom. I don't know why they changed the naming system in the middle, but that is what they did. So this is octahedral. There is some significance, by the way, to the two, the octahedral and the tetrahedral um, in upper level chemistry. Those two particular kind of shapes are what the heavy metals bond with. And um, they, they form these complexes that are very important. And so that they, those will come back. They kind of have their own little subcategory of importance in one area of chemistry. The angles there, um, since we've got a, a square around the base, I'm sure you can tell that we would be doing like a 90 and a 90 and a 90. And whenever you got your 90, you almost always have your 180 with it. Now I know there's that lone pair, but we pretend it isn't there, and we pretend we've got, you know, our square going down there, and then a square going up, square pyramid going up. So that's octahedral, angles 90 and 180. And then again, I know you see the square, but uh, with those lone pairs, it's still considered the electron geometry to be an octahedral. Bond angles 90, 180. There's no 120 because the 120s only come with the triangle shapes.